Yo guys, Brad back with a new video on my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be explaining my thoughts on Tommy Elphick signing for Huddersfield Town. Now, Tommy joins from Aston Villa. Before that, he was at Bournemouth, in which he captained the club and gained promotion with them. So, straight away, Tommy can show his experience for us, shows, show us that he has got experience and can help us in um, well, knowing what because he'll know what he's um, he'll know what he's doing. So he uh, he said in, in his interview that we need to restore some confidence and get back to winning ways. And the key word in that wasn't restore; it was we. He he's already talking like he's been here for a while. He's talking as if he's already uh, you know he talk he talks as if he's settled in. Oh, um, some players have not done that, some players have said, oh, I can't wait to get started, whereas this guy's all wee, wee, wee. He's, you know, he's talking, he's talking as if, he's talking like, like he should be talking, like he's a member of this team and not he is the team sort of thing. So I respect him for that. Uh, I respect him before um, all of that because of his career, he's, he's captain Bournemouth, he got promoted to the Premier League with them, obviously followed on the pecking order with the likes of Nathan Ake joining and that, which you're always going to do as you get older. But he's moved down a league, obviously, to the Championship. But he's um, he's good enough to compete in that. Villa didn't think so, but I reckon we should give him a shot. Him and Chinla, he'd do the job. I spoke to a Bournemouth fan recently who said he'd do a good job for us. So that's um, that's enough for me. I um, I do think he can be successful with us. I do think we can be successful this season. I think Tommy's going to help a lot with that. I think, I think it's a good signing. He's on a free. It's a two-year contract. At the end of the day, we've got nothing but wages to lose if he is a flop. But I really doubt with it, with his experience and his um, his discipline, attitude that 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 he will be a flop. I think he'll be a successful player. Just looking on the website now. Uh, prior to that, I sat down with. He explained how he will fit into the head coach system. So he will fit into the system. Um, he's ha he's happy playing pressure football. He said in his interview, so that's always good news because we play pressure football. Whether it was Wagner or Siva, we've start we've carried on with. Yeah, he says yeah. We he wants to play open, expansive, high energy, high pressing. It's a way I've had a lot of success with. Um, it's quality stuff that if the if the centre backs already used to the the, the style of play, then it's um, it's going to be no problem with him getting settled in. Obviously, he's only been here a day. He'll, be, um, he'll still be on holiday, I'd imagine, but he'll be training in like, August when we go to Austria again. So, do you know? I reckon if we give him some time, like I said, we see if we give him some time. I reckon he can. I reckon he can do a job for us. Thirty-one. He's not too old to do a job. He's just, I'd say, just after his prime. I'd say, in terms of, in terms of career-wise and age-wise and performance-wise. So. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I do think he can. Um, I do think he can help us have a successful season, whether that's finishing mid-table, playoffs, top of the league, wherever. As long as we don't go down or finish below tenth, I can say that I'm happy with this season. I think so. Tommy looks like he'll be a good. He'll be a good addition to the squad for us. And yet again, linking to the fact that he kept saying we in every conversation, we had a disappointing season last year with the relegation. So we now need to get back to that atmosphere and get some wins at early doors. He's got a great attitude. I respect him more for it, obviously. I respect his, his disciplined attitude. He sounds like a player who knows what he's talking about, a smart, intelligent player who can help us. He, he, I think he's definitely what we need because Zanko looks like he's on the way out because I doubt Zanko wants to play Championship football. I mean, Chinla's way better, but I doubt Zanko will want to be with the likes of Championship players. But no, Tommy's a, a good signing on a free, two years, 31-year-old experience, quality. Don't see what wrong with it. I reckon, I reckon he'll help us. I reckon he'll do a job. I reckon he'll be a good player for us. So they were just my thoughts on the signing of Tommy Elphick. I can't wait to see what he can do for us. Obviously, the season starts August 4th, I think, in the Championship. I can't remember. Obviously, it's two years since we've been in Championship, so I'm not trying to boast or anything because we've come back down, so I can't really boast. It's time to say bye-bye to this. Time to say bye-bye to that a long time ago. About Christmas, maybe. <laughs> but, um, no. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. That was a bit of a 
change. No, if you didn't, no. <laughs> but um, no, no, no. I do think Tommy can be su successful, and that's all I've got to say, really. That's why I went to end the video. <laughs> But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment who do you think we should sign, comment do you think Tommy's a fit for us, do you not think he's a fit for us, do you think we could have got someone better, do you think he's, a, he's, not, he's not the player that we need, do you disagree with my thoughts, leave a comment down below, hit the notification bell as well when you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.